Welcome everyone to the stream. I um, am just getting some coffee and I'm heading to the hospital to see Kathy. She uh, went to the hospital yesterday and it's been a bit of a mess. She's been going through a lot. All right, so I've got a bit of a drive because the hospital is far from the house. But uh, as I get going, I'll tell you what's going on and give you guys an update. All right. Just let me get going first. So, uh, I know a lot of you know, many of you probably don't, so I'm, I'm, I'll give a brief background on Kathy's health. I won't go through the whole story, but uh, Kathy has a condition called pulmonary hypertension, which you can Google, and um, pretty serious illness, and she has been for the last 27 years on an IV pump 24 hours a day that... Um, puts medicine directly from a pump through a tube that's in her chest directly into her pulmonary artery, right into her heart, 24 hours a day. And she's been on that medication, like I said, for 27 years. And then um, in the last couple of years, they developed the medication in pill form. So she would just take a couple pills a day as opposed to having this IV pump 24 hours a day. So she's been doing this transition for the past couple of months to this new medication. And about a week ago, she did the complete, you know, she had to decrease her current medicine while she was increasing the new one. And about a week or so ago, she was completely off her IV 24 hour pump and just taking the oral medication. And she's not been doing so well since then. She hasn't been doing well for the last few weeks, but since she removed the pump medication, she's been having a lot of problems and uh, has not been doing well at all. And we we thought that it was, you know, some side effects she'd have to get used to and everything. And then finally yesterday, she says, I got to go to the hospital. So um, we took her to the hospital by our house. Uh, but her doctors and you know her that that handle her medication because it's such a rare disease. She has specialists, and they are about an hour away. So we took her to the. Her blood pressure was really, really high. I mean, really high. And we took her to the emergency room by her house, and they contacted her doctor in Miami, who's on call, and um, he wanted her. Um, admitted to the hospital, but the one in Miami. So she had to do a, uh, she had to take an ambulance from Palm Beach to Miami last night and get admitted in that hospital. So, which is a pretty involved and traumatic thing. And she's gotten, a, I haven't heard from her since about four or five in the morning. She was texting me, but she's gone back to sleep. But um, they found some possible other problems she may be having. And they're talking about putting her back on the medication that they weaned her off of, this IV pump that goes into her chest. So they're going to do a, um, a cardiac cath on her. I don't know if they'll do that today or tomorrow. Um, so I just left the house and I'm heading to the hospital. But it's about... About an hour drive each way to the hospital, although on a Sunday at this time, hopefully it'll be less than that. I'm not exactly sure how long it'll take because I usually go down there during the week or if it's on the weekends later in the day. So I got out of the house a little early today. I, I don't even know what room she's in, so I'm going to have to have them tell me when I get to the hospital. So hopefully she'll get this uh, cardiac cath done today and then get things moving. But a lot of times, if you've ever been in the hospital, 
the hospital sometimes can be a lot of hurry up and wait. And, you know, it's a holiday weekend and everything. Well, thanks for all your prayers, everyone. I appreciate that. Hopefully it's not a lot of hurry up and wait today. Hopefully it's a lot of hurry up and um, get stuff done. Uh, yeah, but it's been it's been pretty rough for her. This whole transition. She really wasn't crazy about doing the transition and but she was kind of talked into it by her doctors. But that pump she's on has a lot of uh, causes a lot of restrictions on her movement. That's why Kathy can't go with me on the cruise and stuff like that. So I had a lot of hopes that she'd get off this, we both did, off this IV pump and she'd be able to travel, go on the cruise with me and things like that. Sorry guys, I can't read the chat while I'm in the uh, car here on the highway. I can see that you guys are chatting, but I can't read. I, I don't want to read while I'm driving, so I'll go through the chat later. I was going to wait for her to call me to drive down to make sure I got everything she needs. I have, uh, she, she texted me a couple things to bring, including two my pillows. so I've got two my pillows here next to me. I did put some old pillowcases on. This is, uh, actually, no, I did not. This is, uh, yeah, these are old pillowcases, yeah. Just in case, because when she takes pillows to the hospital, she sometimes doesn't want to bring them home, so she'll leave them there. So much sickness in the hospital. So, yeah, good. She killed me. Yeah, so those are old pillowcases, <laughs> in case she leaves them. And then we'll order more. But, um, yeah, her, she, she wanted to go to the hospital where her doctors are, but since it's so far, she was afraid with her blood pressure so high, it was too far to go. That's why we went to the hospital in our neighborhood to try to get her blood pressure down. So, pretty scary. Not much traffic on the road, I must say. Some. I was so tired. I fell asleep on the couch last night. I slept on the couch all night with the dog and the cat. Yeah, I brought two of the uh, My Pillow Giza Elegance pillows. today too. Hopefully she's got a room with a good view because depending where she is in the hospital, you can have a great view of the ocean or the parking lot. It depends. It's hit or miss. But if you got the good view of the ocean, it's a beautiful view of the hospital where she's at. Very behind on my coffee this morning, but it's too hot to drink. Yeah, they got a new coffee maker, and I don't know how to use the damn thing. I was trying to make coffee this morning at home. I couldn't figure it out. Things are too high tech. Hope everyone's had a good Thanksgiving weekend. 
Guess why? Because Kathy not doing well is why I didn't stream yesterday. going through the news this morning and um, you can see some articles on my Twitter that I posted this morning. Some of the things the left have been saying, I'm not even going to repeat here about President Trump, they are in such a panic over these polls showing him winning everywhere. You know, the polls that we see that have Trump ahead, that, that's great news, but the internal polls that the campaigns and the parties do that they don't show us, that aren't media polls, are showing him further ahead than in the polls we are seeing. And the Democrats, I don't think people realize how rare it is, how unusual it is for the Democrats to openly talk about how there's no hope for them to win against a Republican, not just Trump, but any Republican. It's something they don't do because it, it depresses and discourages their voter turnout. They're like, why bother? Trump's so far ahead. I mean, that's, that's how popular Donald Trump is right now, that the Democrats are openly reporting in the news that it's hopeless for him. It is 80 degrees right now. In South Florida. I love a nice uh, sunny day, but it's, it's, it's a possible thunderstorms. Back to the rat race tomorrow. I'm not sure how long she's going to be in the hospital. I'm assuming she's going to be here four or five days. They're talking about doing a lot of stuff to her. guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, we actually recorded a podcast yesterday, and before I could upload it, we were at the hospital. So I'll upload it, not today probably, but this week I'll upload that podcast. But um, So Kathy texted me last night something that they suspect she may have going on that they didn't know about separate from her normal illness, so... I hope that's not true, but if it is, we may not have known if she didn't do this transfer of medications. I'm going through uh, caffeine withdrawals big time. I just 
got a text from Kathy, but I'm driving. Maybe she's watching the stream. She might be watching the stream from the hospital. You might see her in there. there is no traffic during the week oh my goodness during the week it's a tough drive the traffic it could take it could take two hours it's if there's no traffic and everything goes well 50 55 minutes door to door but sometimes during the week two and hours two and a half hours it's ridiculous all that Miami traffic Thank you for the prayers. And you know, guys, um, make sure you are subscribed. Um, I have heard from people who have told me that they thought they were subscribed and not subscribed recently. And, I, you know, I've heard so many people on YouTube say that over the years. Oh, make sure you're subscribed. People have been unsubscribed. And I always thought it was a load of BS. And, and then I'm hearing from people, including Kathy, uh, was telling me that she wasn't subscribed. She had to resubscribe. So I don't know why that happens. I don't know how it happens. But um, make sure you're subscribed. And if you're not, please subscribe. I guess sometimes YouTube updates what they do. I'm not sure how that happens. But I, I've seen on some channels that I thought I was subscribed to, and then it turns out I wasn't, even though I'm like 99% positive I sub to them. <clears throat> Who knows? making very good time. It's 82 now. It's starting to get high. Although that's pretty cool for us in Florida. 82 degrees is like perfect. That's winter weather for us at 82. This is the exit for Steve's house that I'm driving by now. You know, I've been watching, um, <clears throat> I, you know, I got interested in what was going on with the car market um, because I've been hearing so many terrible things about the car market and I've started watching a lot of videos on YouTube from car dealers and car salesmen and experts on what's going on in the American car market, EVs, you know, electric crap, as well as regular cars. And um, some of this I talked about on the podcast that I'll upload later this week that I did with Kathy yesterday. But um, the American car market is on the verge of collapse. If I were looking to buy a car right now, I would hold off. And uh, what's going on is, I, I was looking um, on some of the websites for some of the big auto dealers in town, like like main ones, Ford and Chevy. And uh, I would never buy a Ford or a Chevy. I've just never had good experiences with them. 
but you go to a Ford lot, you go to a Chevy lot, there are trucks and SUVs that are going for over $100,000 on the lot. And during the uh, pandemic, when car dealers started doing this ridiculous thing of not negotiating on prices and not um, and selling above sticker prices with this market adjusted rate value that they had, which can add thousands of dollars to a car, these, these auto dealers have gotten stuck in this head that they're not going to negotiate, that the sticker price is the price of not above that. And what's happened is they have too many cars on the lots. And the way that uh, car dealers work, very most car dealerships do not own the cars on their lot. They're financed by the dealer, and they have to pay the bank a fee every month on every car on their lot. And car sales are down for a number of reasons. The economy, the these practices of the dealers I was telling you about, you know, are a couple factors. And uh, interest rates. So car dealerships are up almost every single car dealership in America is upside down some of the millions and millions of dollars upside down on the cars that are on their lot and you know we've had a housing crisis many times in this country every few years since we have one I don't know if we've ever had an auto crisis but it's about to happen it's just another example of a area of the economy that's turning to total crap under Joe Biden. So the reason I share that with you, though, is uh, I would wait to buy a car if I needed to buy a car. I'd wait as long as I could. But how I got in, it, looking at that, I was doing a lot of research on electric vehicles. And what had happened is I started watching um, a video. I watched a video from someone on an um, electric pickup truck. And they drove a little over 400 miles. It took them more than twice as long to do the trip as it would in a regular truck because they had to stop for charging in some very bizarre situations. So I'm not going to go through it all now, but on the next podcast, I'll talk about it a little bit more. You can listen to it. It's it's just the the electric vehicle sales in this country are just plummeting. The word of mouth on a you know because you know like we're MAGA people, we're not into electric vehicles, but for people that are into electric vehicles. The word of mouth in that uh, on those things is so bad by the owners that it's depressing sales of electric vehicles even among liberals. So the only the only vehicles right now that you can get a good deal on that are new at a car dealership are electric vehicles because nobody wants to buy those at all. You know, I, I, and the, the electric vehicle thing is, the technology just is not there. They don't work. And they're gonna, it's almost like a fad. You know, like if you remember five or 10 years ago, 3D TVs were all the rage. Remember that? Any of you ever have a 3D TV? I never got one. Kathy's father had one. And I remember to watch it, you had to wear these glasses that cost like $160 each. And uh, it was just weird. And there, there, nobody, you can't even buy a 3D TV anymore, I don't think. I haven't seen a 3D TV at Best Buy in a long time. And then they had these TVs around that time that had like a an oval shape to them that would give you more perspective. Remember that? That was a fad. And that these these things faded away. And the electric vehicles are the same thing. The only thing that's keeping them going are liberal virtue signalers 
and uh, the government propping up sales by purchasing them, you know? They just don't uh, work. And the whole green movement, I, I have no doubt in my mind that the entire green movement that it, it China's behind the whole damn thing to get us off oil since they don't have any. No doubt about it. So, with, with we get a collapse of the electric vehicles, that's going to hit China big time. And that's good news because we want we don't want China to do well. You know, I've been I've been doing a lot of research on the economy in China right now, and the 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 Chinese economy they are so overextended that they're going to have a financial collapse in China. It couldn't happen to uh, nicer people. That'll be a good thing. The economic power of China is an illusion. They seem more important because they bought off so many of our politicians and celebrities. Now, hold on. Gotta go for the pass here. In the wrong lane. China is such a, and, and they're they're trying to put on this this image that they're this great economic power and it's they're not. They're artificially inflating their own economy. They won't be able to maintain that forever. Just a matter of time before there's a financial collapse there. I don't know what kind of impact that would have on us. big country like that has a financial collapse can't be good but we need China out of, uh, not to not to become the superpower of the world as they're projected that they are it's a bunch of nonsense The traffic has been spectacular. I mean, I don't know how long have I been streaming here, but uh, I'm getting here much faster than ever just because there's no traffic. I hate being behind motorcycles on the highway. Never liked it. I think about that sometimes when I'm on the Manga scooter. You know, do people not like being behind me? But I do not like being behind motorcycles. I'm behind one now. But the Fiat in front of it's not much bigger. If you're just joining in, if you go watch the beginning of the stream, you'll get the uh, background. I'm, I'm heading to the hospital to see Kathy. She's in the hospital. I was so tired when I got home last night. I just, I lay down on the couch, and the next thing I knew, it was the morning. 
Time to take out the dog. Hopefully Kathy's room has a view of the ocean. Last time she was in the hospital here, she had an ocean view. It was nice. Beautiful view I've got here. Florida is such a beautiful state. You just got to know where to stay when you come, that's all. UK Neil was telling me that where he was staying in Miami was very tourist trappy. Yeah, well, it depends on where you stay. That, that can be very true. If you'd have asked me where to stay, I would have told him. But, uh... So, you know, I know when you when you travel to different countries because he's traveling here from another country, from Europe. You don't, um, you, you know, you end up in the tourist areas a lot, and that, sometimes that can be pretty tacky. As soon as I get off of this turn, I'm going to call her. Well, I, I'm almost to the destination. I got to wait till I get off the road to call her. I didn't think she'd be up yet because she had such a rough day. But in the hospital, they wake you up every couple of three hours to check your blood pressure, take blood. You never get a good night's sleep in a hospital. Oh, there's Kathy. Kathy's in the chat. I was just about to end the stream to call you, Kathy, but I'm almost to the hospital. I'm like five minutes from the hospital, maybe ten. So. I 
just wait till I till I park to call you. Absolutely zero traffic today. I mean, I could. This is like record time getting here from our house. Record time, big time, record time. If you guys saw where I am, you'd be blown away. This is like so beautiful where I'm at right now. <laughs> One of the most beautiful parts of Florida, actually. I'll call you when I get to the uh, parking garage, Kathy. Someone on this road on a scooter. I would not ride my Vespa on this road. You have to be out of your mind. I only take side streets when I'm on the Manga scooter. I don't ride on the main highway. You gotta be crazy. Everyone's going 70 miles an hour here. I think Kathy's in the room as me. I know I'm not chatting. All right, I can see the hospital, Kathy. You got to text me your uh, room number. I'll call you as soon as I park in. Tell me your room number. I brought you the pillows. So the hospital pillows must really suck because Kathy, on the list of things, anytime Kathy's in the hospital, it's always like my pillows. Bring two, bring two my pillows. I don't know what the special is on the Giza Elegance pillows right now. That's the ones I have. These are both Giza Elegance pillows. But I'm sure it's a good deal. With our promo code Kane, K A N E. You see, I'm serious. These are really my pillows. I don't know if I got time at the light here to show you. But, hey. My pillow. Hey. <laughs> They're that good, guys. <laughs> During the week, this would have been such a miserable drive. On the weekend, it's awesome. Parking's great too, oh my goodness. I'm sure I'll get a great parking spot. Yeah. 
yes, yes. Oh, it's dark in here. Take off the sunglasses. Oh wow, I can park pretty much anywhere I want. Great parking spot. All right, guys. Well, I got to call Kathy before I get out of the car. Thanks, guys. Again, you know, I was uh, I was talking on the way down. Make sure that you are subscribed. I've heard from a few people, including Kathy, who told me they thought they were subbed to the channel and they're not subscribed. And uh, I was talking, I've heard so many people on YouTube say, oh, people have told me they've been unsubscribed. I always thought they were full of, you know what? But it does happen, so make sure that you're subscribed, guys. Thanks, guys, for uh, all your prayers for Kathy. And, uh, yeah, I did. I parked as close to the entrance as humanly possible. Thanks for all your prayers. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. I will go through the uh, chat once I uh, get up to the room with Kathy, and I'll read all your uh, well wishes. All right, guys, take care. I'm going to sign off so I can give Kathy a call.